days, yes, from today to Friday. And Saturday, everybody will be going home. So please don't get homesick. Make sure you have the most fun that you can actually make and have good memories captured from Tanzania for the Ugandans. And a good networking time. Kutoka kwa Tanzania na Ugandans. When we were doing the research, we found that fashion is one has one of the clearest revenue streams. You can clearly see where they're sourcing their fabric from, buttons and every, everything. And um, they go to the tailors, they, they, they show them the design, the pattern cutters. Um, there was a clear chain of players. The designer is one of them, and then you take your clothing and you go into a store you sell, so that's the retail as well. And we found that in all of these, uh, in all of these uh, points in the value chain, people cannot access financial, uh, financial products from banks. Um, so we started piloting and we gave out loans to creative businesses, fashion, crafts, handmade items, photography, interior design, interior decor, those are our value chains that we started with. Uh, a business model canvas came from this process of business model generation. It's, uh, it's a collection, it's a model that is, co it's a collection of uh, 450 contributors who are business personnel who sat down and contributed to formulate the business model canvas. Uh, it's a canvas that gives you a picture. You as the owner of a business, you as the main part of, the, of your business or of the creativity process. It gives you a picture of what your business is like. First, before, before um, going to the, to the market or before introducing a business to anyone else. It gives you a better understanding of what your business entails. Uh, another thing that maybe I would want and I really wanted to talk about, uh, it's, um, it's the finishing. Finishing, I think maybe it might apply to, to all of us. Finishing, for me, what like I've seen, I will do a piece. Well, my advertising tools are the social media. I'll put up the, uh, the, the piece and after a few days, someone will tag me. And I'll go to that page and I find a, a piece that I you know I've designed it when I look even in the pictures I, I notice the details like if someone sees this will know this is not in Jipai why so I'm um, for me to be different for for in Jipai to be different I look into the small touches small things that we most people don't look at the finishing touch that's what will sell you so see their fashion boot camp why am I here we're talking about branding we're talking about um, marketing. We're talking about getting you guys out there. But I thought that I'm going to tilt it around and start with branding, okay? Why am I starting with branding? I am here not because I'm probably the only or the most creative person in Uganda. I am here because I think we have created a great brand for ourselves, a brand that is now, you know, a prestigious, uh, um, 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 aspect of everything Ugandan and before anyone else is thought about our papa comes up we evaluated if we pass we go if we fail we don't allow to fail so if it comes our way it is ours and so I want for each one of you to start to regard yourselves as brands okay if you're going to make it you have to have a powerful vision all right Brands are promises. That's all I want for you to live for, with from this workshop. Go read further, expound on There's things which are going to be taught to you during this whole process, these four days. And we want you guys to actually produce at least one piece.
Chipela, Chabane, Lobo, Chipela, Chabane, Lobo, Chipela. Ane Chipela, Chabane, Lobo, Chipela, Chabane, Lobo, Chipela. Ne wajangu mungu la jehoi, oi ne ayabe, oi ne Chipela, Chabane. Thank you. 
so nice and overwhelmed because uh, it shows me a sign of cooperation as an East African community. And I feel like if we continue with such um, cooperations, then we shall have a better East Africa uh, in the future. First of all, I want to recognize the efforts of uh, culture development uh, East Africa. I think that uh, you guys are doing a fabulous job. Uh, I am impressed by Ayeta, who came you know, all the way here to get this set up as well. I think that this, what I have seen today in the program that I have, that you sent to me, that I've looked at, is what should have started happening, I think, decades ago. This is what Africa needs. This is what East Africa needs. This is what each of our countries need for us to be able to ex experiment here from all sectors, all angles of the arts, as well as the related fields, communication, business, branding, marketing. There has to be um, an effort made to equip the creatives, especially the young creatives of East Africa. They have a huge future. We are more or less, the arts in East Africa is more or less still very virgin. And so if it's developed now, the future can only be bright. Well done. Africa is a beautiful continent. Our situations need solutions, not incitement. You stay media for a positive enlightenment. For the children of the future in the world. This workshop, the three-day workshop, was very intensive. There was so much to learn, so much to consume in just, you know, 72 hours is that? 72 hours, even less, less than that. I would, yeah, we haven't reached 72 hours yet. And so many things that were very helpful and beneficial as a growing artist. I like to say growing, not upcoming, because you're already an artist, so how do you say upcoming artist? I'm already an artist, but you are always growing day by day. And of course, you do think you know a lot of things, but until you come, come together with other artists and professionals who have been doing it for so many years, whom themselves are also still learning, we come together. My God, it just, it's just bombastic, it blossoms. And you find out there are actually so many things that you have to know, you need to know. If you want to make music as your career, you know, in the business department, in the professional department, and in life, really. Thank you. 
you have good hearts. Mimi nashukuru sana CDA kwa ku arrange kwa ku arrange kitu kama hichi. Kuleta workshop kama hii kwa watu wa Tanzania, Uganda na Kenya. Inatuunganisha sana. Ingawa serikali zetu wanaweza kosa kuelewa kinachoendelea ama ku support lakini sisi kama watu binafsi tunachukua uh, majukumu kama hayo kwa mikono yetu na kuendeleza tusisubiri tusi authority kutufanyia alafu pia nashukuru sana imekuwa vizuri wanafunzi pia si wanafunzi tu ni wasani, ni wasanii ambao wamejitokea na wamejitokeza pia wanataka ku they wanna learn you know you, you keep on learning as you come here So and I have learned a lot. Nime learn sana kukuwa na Ubuntu, kukuwa na uh, kuweza kukuwa mkweli kabisa. Safi sana. And my experience here is this has been an epiphany for me. It's basically it's been the most been the best thing that has ever happened to me and I think that me agreeing to come to this boot camp was an eye opener and I've learned a lot more than I imagined that I would learn I mean I've been told things I've been challenged in a way that I would never have been challenged if I stayed back in Uganda and just focused on playing my music <laughs> Um, the workshop here was very, very nice. This was actually um, not the first time that I was teaching in Tanzania, but it was the first time I was teaching a group of uh, people from different countries in East Africa. And to have the challenge of the Ugandan students uh, and the Tanzanian students, and especially the challenge of language, was very interesting. And of course, there's also a different culture. I mean, uh, the Ugandans remind me so much of the Kenyans, while the Tanzanians are so polite. <laughs> and uh, so it was very interesting experience. Um, we were lucky because we had we got a really good group of talented singers. Um, and of course, you never know that beforehand. Not only that, but the group was really gelling with each other. I mean, as in every workshop, there are ups and there's downs, right? Um, so the first day we worked on songwriting, and it was a really really good day but then at the final performances there were a few groups who really just didn't get it and so we had to fight a little bit you know and we had to create some some tension in the class just to make sure that people got serious and that everybody put their noses in the same direction because we were here to do something and to change the way these guys were writing songs and girls writing songs and looking at their career so that
kupika Sina uwezo wa Mungu wa Mungu Ninyanyuke amani kimie kitimoto Erected a chapel and now I created a war. Seven of airs and the seven of graces. Let's expose the beauty that lies hidden. Let's expose the beauty that lies hidden. When you cease to ask, it's the breeze. The speed on come, your freedom comes over me. Give my body to life. To life, to life, to life. When it cease to be, when it cease to be. Many actors, even even our good actors. I don't believe there are many bad actors, right? But even our good actors. That's why I tell you guys, like when you deal with guys here and you do film, it's not necessary for you to do it in English, because you can have a very good actor. There's a Tanzanian guy actually. He has acted in the hostel. Very, he's a guy called Hossein. Yeah, he's very good. He's from TZ. I hired him for the hostel. Very good, brilliant guy. Handsome. He's a model. You know, can act. But the first thing we realized in auditions, English, right? He couldn't speak English. But when he would speak Luganda, Swahili, yeah? Perfect. So it's a thing about encouraging him. No, 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 be comfortable, right? So if you find a good actress or actor over here, don't insist that they should do English first. Because, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, when you speak in your local language, right? Your accent changes. Yeah? Intonation changes, right? Even, the, even your swag, the way you say a word. Yeah? You have that natural thing, yeah? When you speak in another language, your brain readjusts, you know, your changes. And even your mind, the way it will interpret a word physically, is not the same. This is like a fact of science. For the director to feel eh, that she has what she wants. So again, it's patience and discipline. Uh, am I helping you guys? Yeah? Why, why for me it's important that you, you guys who want to do film, and that's what I was telling you guys, you want to sell your film, perfect. But this is what sells your film. Right? If you came to me with this film, with your treatment, your biographies, this script, and even you just show me some of that footage, I know you're a serious filmmaker. I can put my money there. Yeah? You understand? 